okay so in our last video lecture we saw what is a ply file okay now i have also shown you a small example of a ply file in my first video now i recommend you to go to the website www.graphics.stanford.edu/data/3d/scrp here you will find a number of ply file example you can download these uh, download these files from there and read it so the ply files available there are for bunny happy buddha dragon and many more etc a lot of ply files are there okay so the one which we are going to study in this video will be bunny.ply okay you can download this file i strictly recommend you to download and have a look at this file don't be frightened by the big big numbers and the size of this file it just contains vertices vertex and faces as we have seen in our previous lecture now suppose this is your bunny okay now to make such kind of bunny in computer graphics you will need uh, suppose we will start from here you will need a lot of points okay these are suppose the points specified in three dimensional uh, coordinates x y z okay but if you connect these points and try to see then you will see a hollow bunny okay uh, you can see through it we don't want that so the first thing what we did we have seen the vertices these are the vertices there will be a lot of vertices in between also okay now to see it as a complete object and not a hollow you have to connect these vertices so what you will do you will connect any three any three and then any three uh, so this will form a lot this will make a lot of triangles in the bunny okay now what happens a collection of this triangle will uh, create a entire bunny object like this which you will see when you use opengl to display this ply file which we will read in subsequent lectures okay now to start with i'll write down the initial uh, lines of the bunny bunny dot ply file and uh, we will try to understand those similarly as we understood the example in our previous lecture so again the ply again this ply file also start with ply keyword okay which tells the reader that it is a ply file and the format of this uh, is ascii okay 1.0 then again there are some comments in that which we will ignore for time being okay and then from here, now here on we have element okay so element vertex first element is vertex which is 35947 this means so num uh, so many number of vertices are used to make this bunny okay then its properties are defined as a previous uh, example only float of x float of property float of y and property float of z okay there are two more properties uh, specified in bunny dot ply which are confidence and intensity we will not see these two properties right now no next element is element face okay whose instances are 6469451 that means so many number of faces are going to make this bunny okay now as told in my previous video a face is nothing but a list of vertices okay so when you 
uh, observe uh, very keenly in the bunny.ply file you will see such kind of examples I'll, sh I'll show you after the end underscore header line in the bunny.ply you will see that vertices are starting how many vertices as already defined 3 5 9 4 7 vertices are used okay so from after end header from 0 to 3 5 9 4 sixth line you will see all the vertices okay if you observe properly these vertices are uh, in the very small minus 0 0.0 3, 7, 8, 2, 9, 7. This is x coordinate. Then again 0 0.12794. And again oh, z vertex might be 0 0.0471. Such kind of things. Okay. So all these are vertices. As soon as you complete this, uh, you go to the line number 3, 5, 9, 4, 6, 9, 4, 7. Okay. What you will start to observe that uh, I'll, I'll just take out the example for better understanding. Okay, what you will observe that this line will start with three, which says that the list contains three elements, which are nothing but. Uh, to make a face, I have already told you that you need three elements to make a face of a triangle. So this will contain three elements and this will contain uh, values like 2399, 21215 and 21216. Okay, so now what does this signifies? Okay, these values signify, signifies the line number, the vertex line number of a vertex okay so this corresponds to some two zero three nine nine length number and whatever x y z values are given here all the values will point to one coordinate of this face this will again point to some x y z okay which will be another coordinate and this will again point to the third vertex xyz will be the third coordinate and combining all these things you can make a proper bunny thank you